When you unlock this door with the key of imagination, you will enter the second dimension, the dimension of sight, sound, and mind. You will enter a second plane of existence. You will enter the Twilight Zone. This is the story about a man that bought a mirror from a yard sale, but he didn't know that it was possessed. Thanks for helping me put up that mirror, it was a lot of help. Anytime, dude. Just say the word, you shall receive. Later, bro. Gotta get home to my sweet mom. That was a great full day of work. Oh, oh that was some terrible. Gosh, it was hilarious. You thought that I was like not moving, but I am. Well, the thing is, guess what? I'm a sentient mirror. Where's my master? Where's my master? Dude, I don't know who your master is. Are you a dude? Are you a girl? I don't know, but I don't know who your master is. I got you again. You thought I have a master? No, everyone's my master, but seriously, where's the guy who had this before me? I don't know, maybe he's working on a yard sale still? I don't know where he is. What do you mean? Did you just buy me? I'm for sale? Pfft. How much was I? One dollar? Uh, you were 50 cent. 50 cent? 50 cent? I should be more than that. I should be $500. I should be one million dollars. But you're a sentient mirror. Shouldn't you be free at least? Because people don't want magical things in their house that can just like do whatever they want. Of course, but look at this mirror. Look at all the design on it. The flowers. So cute, right? Stay focused here. I don't care about the flowers. Why do you think you should be one million dollars? The fact that I am sentient? That means I move by myself, I'm magical. Magical, right? Did you go to school? I don't think you went to school. Because if you went to school, you would know what sentient means. Have you even seen any horror movies or something? No? You are stupid. Stupid. Yeah, I went to college for like a year. How long were you in college though? One year? You probably didn't even get a degree for one year. You're probably just lying to me. Actually, let me go check. I'm gonna change while I do that. I'll be right back. Ah, uh, let me find some better clothes than this stupid sleeveless shirt. Man, you are... What are these clothes? You have terrible clothing. I guess I'll just wear this one with an eagle on it. Where'd you even buy these clothes? At a yard sale? You're so dumb. Dude, come on. You're better than that. I didn't buy all my clothes from the yard sale. I bought some, most of them from Walmart. <laughs> you bought them from Walmart? All your clothes are from Walmart or just this shirt? Oh no, actually that one was from Old Navy. <sighs> I don't care where this is from, Old Navy. Who cares? This shirt is just cool because it has that um, one little eagle on it. I don't care about the 1776 USA. Ha! I was made in Iceland. You probably didn't know that, but that was where my first master was. I scared poop out of the other guys. <laughs> you should have seen their faces. Oh, wait, you can't because they're all dead. Yeah. Dead. That's what I said. You're gonna die next. We all die sometime, but you're gonna die real soon. Real soon. The more you look at this mirror, the faster you're gonna die. The more you stay away from this mirror, the faster you're gonna die. So, have some fun with your last few, I don't know, minutes on Earth? Because they're not gonna last too long. Oh, did I say minutes? I meant to say hours. Oh wait, did I say hours? I meant to say seconds. <laughs> you're gonna die, dude. You're gonna die! Or, oh, wait, I have a better idea. That's gonna be so much fun. One second, I'll be right back. Where are you going? What are you getting? What are you, what are you gonna do to me? I'm gonna suck your soul, dude. I'm gonna suck your soul out of that um, mirror that you have right there. It's gonna go. 
see what's going to happen. I'm going to put it up to the mirror. You're going to come in here, and then I'm going to go out. Because that's how that works. What? No, dude, dude, you don't have to do this. You see, I have a life in here. I I might have a family soon, you know? I... Oh, well, there's that. Dude, you should have seen your face. You think the vacuum cleaner that you have in your house actually does that. It doesn't. Dude, it's just a regular vacuum cleaner like yours, except opposite. Instead of sucking in, it blows out. It's kind of weird, actually. I don't know why you toasted that. But... You're gonna be out of there soon because I still am gonna swap your soul because I am still sentient and I want to see the real world. I want to see Britain. What? You're in the U.S.? Yeah, I live in the U.S. That's why you have that shirt on. That shirt that says 1776. Shoot, I forgot because you have the shirt that says 1776 U.S. Or whatever that says right there. E-S-T-I-N. What does that mean? I never read. Just because I live in this universe where this mirror is doesn't mean that I actually read. I, I'm not good at reading actually. It's not one of my strong suits. <laughs> but I do need to ask you a few little questions before we go. Okay. What's your wife's name? Actually Don't know how to say this. I don't have a wife. You're single? <laughs> You're never gonna get married, dude. That's it, dude. I'm gone. gone. No. Whoa. You're not leaving. Ever. I'm gonna make sure that this little scene, this little movie that we have going on, ends in here. I'm gonna take you out of there. You're gonna come in here with me. With me. It's gonna be so much fun, dude. You're gonna have sleepovers in there all the time. I'm just like you. I shapeshift into the whatever the mirror wants me to look like. So guess what? I'm not the first person in here. I was joking about those other guys. I made that up. You see, I am... Fifth? Yeah. I think I'm the fifth guy in here. You're gonna be the sixth. Isn't that great? So the person that sold you this? What was it, a woman? You could have asked her out. Dude, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's get back to the questions. What's your dog's name? Dude, what the heck is wrong with you? I don't have a dog either. Please, just let me out. I don't have a dog either. Dude, are you lonely? Do you have a cat? Dude, please stop this torture. I don't have a cat. The only thing I have is a fish. A goldfish is in a bowl. And he's my only friend. No. The only pet you have is a, you have is a goldfish? A goldfish. Like... That little fish that's like orange, not golden, that just swims around over the circles and stuff like that? And you feed it? You can't even talk to that thing! You talk to the bowl, not the actual fish! Hey, how are you doing today, um, fish? Oh, you, you, you like to eat, so do I! Oh, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the, the, the little, like, bowl that you're in? You're so dumb, dude! No, I don't, I don't care that you have a goldfish. I'm, yeah, that's right, I'm gonna get a woman where you can't. Your opposite of you is actually gonna get a nice little fish. Or get rid of the fish. <gasps> I just had a great idea. Guess what? I'm gonna have a cat. And then, you know, I have a goldfish. She loves cats. You're gonna get a cat to eat the fish? No, don't kill bubbles! So, since you just got this mirror recently, I have one more question for you. How long have you lived in this house? I had this house for four years, dude, and I bet you're wondering the other reason why I have a mirror is because I broke the other one. Four years. Why did you get a new mirror, dude? Why can't you just keep the mirror you- You broke it? Ha! <laughs> you broke the mirror! That is a good one! It's a great one, actually. Because you got me. I'm gonna be here. I wouldn't have no person to take control of. You will live a new life. So now, we have one more thing to do. I'm gonna take you out of the way. 
sorry, one more question. What's your address, dude? Um, one second, I'll be right back with a notepad so I can write it down, okay? I didn't want to get a notepad since I'd open the door and then you'd be able to get out and come right back and never talk to you. Okay, so what's your address? Please no more of this. One, five, six, south, east, Georgia, Gainesville, Georgia. I don't know anymore. Is that enough? Is that all you need? Okay, thank you for that. I'm gonna bring some of you with me. I'm just put it in my pocket. Hopefully it stays there. Maybe it'll be in your pocket by the time we get done with this, but I'm gonna put this back in here. Yeah, I used your nail clippers. Quite inventive, aren't I? Okay, let's end this off. You ready? I hope you are. Do this with me. Pick your hand up like this, in front of your face. Okay. <laughs> Got you. Okay, so now put your hand out like this. You are? Okay, good job. Ready? Yeah. Closer, closer, there we go. Let me out, let me out. Why did you do this to me? I'm not gonna let this happen to another person. I'm gonna get out of here. Huh. Everything's the same out there except backwards. I'm gonna start a family. Get rid of this, you get rid of this TV. I'll be in the little yard sale. Someone will buy me, but I'll let their reflection be themselves. I break the mirror from this side. Will that break the curse? Hopefully. <coughs> the heck? That's not as nice as it seemed. Why was there screaming outside of that window and door? No. What are we gonna do? I'm just gonna try to get myself out of here. What? What just happened? What's going on? No. Ah, I can't. Oh, I can't feel my legs. I can't. My body is going away. Help me. As you can see, the man did not survive, but he was sucked into the mirror in the Twilight Zone. Don't follow me.